Randall. Good D by Mobley. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right on him. And there's the foul from John Jalen Brunson. That's his first foul for the Cavaliers. Mitchell comes in for Karis LeVert. And it's Garland in for Ricky Rubio. Allen finds Garland. Back to Allen. Passes it to Mitchell. Beyond the arc. Randall grabs the board. Randall's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Hart. Here's Hartenstein. Another shot. Goes up again, and he lays it up and in. Hartenstein's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for New York. To the middle, here's Mitchell, and it's Mitchell with the jam. What an incredible elevator. Don't tell Mitchell he's six feet. Donovan plays way bigger. Mobley with the block. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. To the paint, here's a Okoro. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Just now for a three-point play. That's on Jalen Brunson. And the Knicks making a change here. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Cavaliers? They bullied the defense here in the paint. Look at all of those buckets inside. Just hard to defend in the paint. Well, they've also put an emphasis on driving inside in this game. The defense hasn't been able to stop them from finding those gaps. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Here's Robinson. Shot to stop the run. Mobley with the rebound. Mobley's got nine rebounds now tonight. Mitchell in the corner, takes a three, connects from three-point range. And now it's a seven-point Cavalier lead. And they've done some nice work as we've come down the stretch here in the final four. And right now is when you have to lay it on the line. Between the two teams, they've clearly been the aggressor. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Hey, Kevin. Well, during the break, I heard Tom Thibodeau as he talked to the team. He is upset about the perimeter play. He told the guys on the defensive end, stay connected to the shooter. On the offensive end, don't have an open shot, pass it around. Let's see if the ball starts to unstick, Kevin. Thank you, David. New York's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Two from foul. Donovan Mitchell. First personal foul. First team foul. Josh Hart. free throw missing. At the line. Two shots. And the second free throw, good. Now, Garland. Allen outside. Back to Garland. Robinson with the block. Down low, covered by Mobley. And Randall throws it down. Randall with massive improvement over last year. He can beat you in so many ways that he has confidence in now. What a fun. Now, here's Mitchell. Kicks it to Mobley. Back to Mitchell. The dish to Allen. Mobley outside. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Next trail by seven. Here's Randall. Banked in off the glass. Randall's got four points now in the quarter. How about Randall? Dependable big in a big moment. Mitchell in the corner. That's good, and it's Garland with the assist. Garland's got six assists now in the game. This whole second half, he's been unbelievable scoring the basketball. The defense has had literally no effect. Here's a Coro. Allen kicks to a Coro. Takes the three. Hits it from three-point range. A Coro's got the lead up to 10 now for the Cavs. 
when he's shooting off the catch like this. These are signs of some remarkable improvement in the Toro's game. Randall finds Robinson. The train. Brunson, no good. And so it's Mobley now who brings it up for Cleveland. Arland is doubled. And the call will be against R.J. Barrett. First, that team. is his first foul of the game. The Knicks making a switch here. Grimes is checked in. Mitchell outside. In the corner, Okoro with it. Another three for Cleveland. And entering the final countdown. Effectively decided here, guys. This is just a tremendous accomplishment for the Cavaliers. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal position. The win tonight will bring the series to dead even at two games apiece. Just what they had hoped for before the location changes again. Just where they want to be. I mean, they fought hard. Hard, and boy, did they look great tonight and, and got the job done. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Donovan Mitchell. He was tough to cover all game long. One of those nights when he felt like nobody could stop him, and they didn't. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. And he's on his way to the free throw line. Shooting one. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yeah, when you step into an opposing team's arena and you can play with this type of composure, boy, that food tastes good on the way out of town. Looking at who's out there now for the Knicks. Hartenstein's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. Toppin comes in for Randall. Manuel quickly, he's checked in for R.J. Barrett. And Derek Rose is subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Ryan, offensive rebound. And that one is good from Hartenstein. Second chances are a great measure of what a team is doing in terms of their effort on a nightly basis, and that was some serious effort there. And it's Green missing. Now the Knicks with it. Pass to Toppin. Makes it off the glass. And I like this. Don't just put Obi on the perimeter or have him spot up. Use that length. Use that toughness. Let him make plays inside. 57. And the foul on Derrick Rose. Derek That's Rose. his first foul of the game, first and the bonus foul. will go to the free throw line. Team is in the penalty. Jennings Osman at the line. Two shots. Shooting two. First one falls. 